Sinenmut was an 18th dynasty ancient Egypt architect and government official under the rulership of Queen Hatshepsut. Unraveling the secrets of Sinenmut's unfinished tomb. Our journey begins in Egypt, in ancient Upper Egypt, in the kingdom south of the Nile Delta, near the ancient city of Thebes, now called Luxor. Let's cross over to the West Bank, to the Theban necropolis, where the dead were buried, and where we find the tombs of the kings, queens, and officials of ancient Egypt in Deir al-Bahri. This is the mortuary temple of Hatshepsut, built in 1500 BC, a masterpiece of ancient architecture from the great Senenmut. Senenmut's importance at the royal court is unquestionable. He supervised the quarrying, transport and erection of twin obelisks, at the time the tallest in the world, at the entrance to the temple of Karnak. But Senenmut's masterpiece building project was the mortuary temple. The Jazeera Jezeru and the other buildings of the Deir al-Bahri complex are considered to be amongst the great buildings of the ancient world. However, we know nothing of Senenmut's death. He disappeared from record in or after Hatshepsut's 19th reignal year, circa 1488 BC. But he had a chapel and a tomb constructed for himself, TT-71 and TT-353, which were vandalized during the reign of Thutmose III during his campaign to eradicate all traces of Hatshepsut's memory. Theban Tomb 353 lies right in front of Hatshepsut's memorial. It is not open to the public, but fortunately we were granted a special permit. The entrance is located in a quarry. It consists of a long descending corridor leading to successive chambers. Now let's go down into the tomb. Who was Senenmut? We know that he was of low commoner birth, born to literate provincial parents Ramos and Hatnofer from Ioni, modern Armand, having three brothers and two sisters. His name translates literally as mother's brother. He first enters the historical record on a national level during Thutmoses II's reign as steward of the god's wife and steward of the king's daughter. After Hatshepsut was crowned pharaoh, Sinimut was given even more prestigious titles and became high steward of the king. The earliest known star map in Egypt is found in Sinimut's tomb ceiling as an essential element divided in two sections, representing the northern and southern skies. This indicates another dimension of his career, suggesting that he was an ancient astronomer as well. This is one of the texts of Hatshepsut. It's also here, it's talking about Uzaris and one of the guests. And then, then, the name of Selmut. Hmm. The you see the first sunrise, first beam of sun in the every sunrise. The Sama of Bayan. Are we allowed to get Ask him. Yeah. Because during position in the same in the acts of the, uh, the sunrise. You're right. East West is right on. Junior, our guide from Egypt with Junior, showed us depictions of Sinanmut and his family and translated for us some of the inscriptions. This overing stable here. Especially to bought the old offerings came from outside as I told you, maybe this tomb was still open and the other part series is closed. This part here to let the others I'm talking about the sons and daughters and his family and the successors after that to come here to bought all of these offerings in front of this false door because from here their ancestors 
souls can appear and can go back again to the heaven. This magical door or a false door is especially to face the sunrise or the entrance of the tomb and then down here they can bought the overing stable to bought all the overings, okay? For who? The owners of this place. Here had Selim also presented himself with his father in behind of him and his fa his mother here is presenting the overings here in front of Device. This is a lotus flower, one of the offerings or a spiritual offerings in the afterlife. Okay, that's to open you, to make you remember before being. Imraber and Imra, which means the overseer in the house of Amunra, and then here, Mut, sorry, Senmut. Senmut, this is the name of the first one here, Senmut. And behind of him, Eat F, Miri F, his father. Okay? Uh, the, the father. And his beloved, Ramis. This is the name of his father, Ramis. The mother here is Mut F, Hat Nefret. Hat. It's not clear. Yes, Hat Nefret. Hat Nefret and Ramos. Hat Senet Nefret. Her name is Hat Senet Nefret. Yes, so they're, Nefret. they're presenting offerings to him, the cinnamon? Yes, and the father, because both oh. of them are dying. Uh, wow, interesting. Both of them. Let's continue deeper still to the B and C chambers. Another tunnel was being dug under the sea chamber. We can clearly see from the evidence all around that this tomb is unfinished. The rough cut corridors and chambers of the lower levels, the line tracings for the hieroglyphs that haven't been engraved yet, the paint job that isn't complete. What happened that abruptly interrupted this tomb's work? It is already time to make our way back to the surface. As we walk back out, many questions remain. Why has the mummy of Senenmut never been found? What is the link between Senenmut and Hachetsu? A Spanish archaeological project that ended in 2008 revealed a very peculiar connection between Senenmut's tomb and Hatshepsut's mortuary temple, thickening the mystery surrounding their real relationship. Join us next time as we explore the tombs of Ai and Tutankhamun.